Mobility Scooter Pin Pin Project. We've got bigger wheels, we've jacked it up, and of course, we've got some kicking stereo sounds now, but I want to go a little bit strange now. I said this was going to get a little bit weird, and it is. The seat is just not high enough. No. I've seen like dirty old men, they're looking up at their dirty magazines and they can't reach them. That's going to be a thing of the past, mate. Yeah. Basically, we're going to make a hydraulic cherry picker on the back of this uh, mobility scooter. So we're going to have like a big arm, have a big hydraulic piston, so the whole thing, the seat will end up here. And it's not just for getting to the top shelf. No, this is going to come in very handy on multiple situations. We're going to have to rearrange the battery slightly. Uh, we're going to get a hydraulic pump in there. Ooh, it's going to be a, some tricky little bits of engineering on this. in that's very nice also reposition the charger anything I was thinking of I don't know if it's going to cause any problems but now we've got a massive battery and a small battery is the charger going to think what's on earth's going on here Colin you're trying to feed a fat kid and a thin kid with the same hands that ain't gonna work anyway let's not worry about that now right so next job hydraulic pump so I'm going to shove this on the other side I'm going to push that under there and that will slide in, but of course, Colin, the solenoid valves are in the way. Yes, they are, but I was thinking they don't actually have to be there, do they? We can take them off and then just link them with two pipes to wherever we want to put them. So I think we'll unbolt them, slide that on, give it a bracket to fix to, bolt that down, and then put the speed controller and everything back somewhere, rig it all up, make sure it all works. And everything I did in the back axle on the last video, completely pointless. I always think, I wonder what I'm doing with this one, which is going to be completely pointless. Who knows? Because you don't know what's coming next. Ah! Right, I've got the solenoid valves off, and there's basically just two holes. Now, I kind of thought, can I just drill and tap those holes? And I'm thinking, all the swarf and everything's all going to drop in. That's not going to do it any good. So instead, got a block of alley. We'll put that on the top, drill the holes out for it to bolt down, and then we need to uh, put some threads and taps to get some fittings off that. And then I've got to put these little O-rings in, and they're in like little grooved slots. So I've bought myself a rotary table, and I'll have a go at machining them out. It might not work, or it might work. I don't know. I'm not an engineer. I just buy tools and try and use them. got it in there it all fits pretty well look I mean even the top goes on nicely Ooh, hoo, hoo. you'd never guess there was a hydraulic pump in there would you no that's how I like it oh I've just farted we better start that again ain't we took the solenoid valves off the top of the hydraulic pump they're gonna have to go in here somewhere I mean they're quite a big it's quite a big lump sort of thing to go but I don't know where I'm gonna have space because I need to do this big arm that's gonna come up the back of the seat so that's the next bit properly making this up as I'm going along now. I've got a hydraulic ram for it, but I don't know whether that's going to go on the back, on the inside. We need to then somehow keep the seat level. Um, it's got to go backy backy. There is just joints and stuff everywhere to do on this. I think, uh, I think I'd like one of these when I get older. Huh, if you've already got one, Colin. <laughs>
this is looking good. We've got quite a bit of reach, look. Come right up here. And if I can pull it forward, I'll tighten the thing up. So you're gonna be a good six to seven foot up in the air, which on this thing I think is gonna feel pretty sketchy. Now, next thing I need to tackle, bring this back there. I'm very pleased with my little smoothie bit on the top of here, eh? I may make some stupid things, but I try and make them as best as I can. Now the next thing we've got to do, we need to sort the seat out so when it goes up there, the seat can stay level or you have the ability to correct it. It's not going to do it automatically, unfortunately. Well, not at the moment anyway. So this is my plan. I've got this, uh, it's a hundred to one gearbox worm drivey thing. I'm going to sit that on the end there. And then we've got this shaft. That's going to go through it, keyed of course. And then that can come out with like a little, um, a little bar underneath you can't see me now, can you? Let me let me drop this down. Yes, and then that's basically going to come out of a little bar underneath, and then driving that hydraulic pump. That's going to sit in there. We'll join the two shafts together. Burp, hydraulic hoses everywhere. I'm going to mount these solenoid valves, I think, underneath the foot plate because there's nowhere else to to put them. They're not going to fit in this little gap down the side here. And then once I've done that, we we'll get all the hoses made up. It's looking pretty cool, though, isn't it? Eh? If this works, I'm going to be pleased. Well, of course it will be, because I've spent ages on this, and I'm, I'm making a really good job of it. through the post and then I can wire it up and then get all the hydraulic hoses made and then give it a test but in the meantime I'm gonna pull it to bits and paint it now it is actually Thursday so the video should have gone out today but I did say in the last video that for one person to do all this and make the videos is a little bit of a task and it has been I've nearly done it but never mind but I must say regardless of what you think of this idea or if it's actually worth doing I think I've executed this a treat. This thing is nearly a work of art. I am so pleased with this. The valves, everything's gone underneath the plastic cowling. It looks neat. I mean, I hope it works, because obviously I've not tested it yet. I might be eating my words soon. But there we are. Right, uh, next bit of video is going to fade out, and then all that will be done, and we can give it a test. Bosh! That's easier, isn't it? Maybe I should just not film stuff. No, Colin, it doesn't work like that. It's finished! Yes! I've got it all in, I've got it all done, it's all wired up, and it works. Now, to think that I was going to get this done in a week is absolutely comical. Have a look under here. <sighs> Just this bit, all these pipes and everything, two days to sort that lot out. I had to make my own manifold, and I thought I was just gonna go and get that done in the morning. No, Colin, no! It does look pretty cool, doesn't it? Now, the whole thing is controlled by these little switches in here, so this one does back and forward. Like so, this one does the seat. orientation and then this one does the bit up and down and go up here and then you can have a look under here look Ooh, look at all this <laughs> I got it all in didn't I this machine is not without its problems there are still teething issues which I'm having to deal with oh. 
But you want to know if it works, don't you? Yes, you do. Right, here we go. Oh, backwards first. We can't go up. Wobbles around a bit. It's not the uh, it's not the safest thing I've ever made, but then when is anything all right? Make safe. Now getting down is is harder. Oh. There we have it. Not safe at all. Oh, oh I like it. What a creation this thing is turning out to be. Now I'm going to do a video at the end once I've finished putting all the mods on it where we like have a bit of fun with it in the general public. But until then, we've got the jazz with the wheels and the stereo. We have the oddity with the telescopic seat. But now, what's next? Hmm, there's no self-defence mechanism on this thing. Oh no. Right, sub, notes on, boom, next video. <laughs>